Our God expects us to take charge of his affairs on earth and to represent him in times of crisis in times of calamity in times of hard situations God gave us the ability to see the future on behalf of the world. That's why he said you are the light of the world. Light enables one to see. The ability to see to the future is given to those who are in the possession of God's most precious gift, the Holy Spirit. That's why I said when the Spirit comes, it will lead you unto the future. And He has come. Every time there is crisis, God foresees success. He foresees victory, especially when he has confidence in those who represent him. In Daniel chapter 2 verse 19 There was a problem that was coming to the people of Babylon And to the children of God in Babylon But it took the leadership Of the children of God To offer a way forward. At this time, at this, Daniel went into the king and asked for time. And asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him. Then Daniel returned to his house. And explained the matter to his friends Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. He urged them to plead for mercy from God. And not any other God, but the Bible says from God of heaven. Concerning this mystery, so that he and his friends might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. As I mentioned earlier, the leaders of the people have a duty to salvage the lives of the people. When there is calamity, Leaders take the lead and they take the responsibility to do whatever that is within their power to save the lives of the people they represent. There is a plan 
to destabilize this country. We have issued prophetic decrees and prophecies concerning the future of this nation. And every prophetic decree and prophecy is always under attack from the enemy to see that the future does not come to pass as by the word of the Lord. But the leaders of the people have a duty to ensure that every prophetic decree comes to pass. It sees the light of the day. Daniel stood in that gap that the people were not destroyed. Our political leaders may make some errors. But just like spiritual people, political people also are operating a spiritual thing that they have no idea about. But with us, we are operating a spiritual thing that we know. And therefore, we have a duty as a church that has been tasked with responsibility of safeguarding the lives of people in this country. We have got to pray for this nation. We have got to pray for Kenya. We have a spiritual responsibility to produce for our God something different more than what they are seeing. The power to change the situations is in you. That's why God made you a spiritual leader. When the king had issued a decree that everybody should be executed, Daniel realized the power of God in his life. He said, we can change the decree of the king. I'm looking for men and women that can, can be in my command to change this. Daniel knew that he cannot do it alone. He said, I'm going to find my friends, Mishael, Azariah, and, and together we will change. So he went and he called Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. These were not the only friends that Daniel had. He was a big man. He had many friends. But these were the only ones that they could agree in mind and in the heart. The power for common effective prayer is not in the multitude, it's in the oneness of the heart and the mind. It is not how many you are, but how many can agree. In Acts chapter 4, verse 31. Am I talking to the leaders of the people? Am I talking to the leaders of the people? Acts chapter 4 and verse 31. The Bible says, after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. Not after he prayed, but after they prayed. And I will show you why when they prayed, you know many times when people come together to pray and if they don't agree they don't have results sometimes even in families when men when a father and a mother or and children pray together and nothing happens you know there are people who say that when a family prays together something happens no it is not when a family prays together but when a together family prays together If your heart and your mind is not together, you can be together physically but separated. Even a church as a family, unless we are one, our prayer cannot give us our expectation. 
it is not being together physically that has the impact. It is being together spiritually. Spiritually, I mean, we are together in the mind and in the heart. It says, after they pray, these are many people that were praying. The place where they were meeting was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. All. Not one of them was left. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And spoke the word of God boldly. Verse 32. All the believers were one in heart and in mind. This is where the secret of joint prayer is. The secret of joint prayer is not being in similar location, but it's your hearts being located in a similarity. It is not about physical presence, but spiritual presence. I pray this morning that as we pray for this country let us be one in mind. Sometimes you lead a church where we have people that have divided political expectations and some are praying that there be war that they can benefit. In the same church and others are praying that there be peace unless we all have in our mind that we want peace which we will never have it the things of god always come to pass when we are in agreement even the crusades we have had in the past before Corona, their effectiveness was because we had agreement of purpose, mind, and heart. We prayed all of us. The miracles that have happened have not happened because I'm too energetic or too powerful, too spiritual, but it's because we came together and we said, This is the miracle we want. We have a future that we want for our children. A future that we want for our nation. You are working hard to pay school fees. Imagine after you finish. You finish to have no country. And you cannot be sure about the future of your children. You could have wasted your past. For you to secure the investment you have made in the past. Then you have to cultivate a culture of securing the future. 